friends. Welcome to story time. My name's Miss Lisa and I get to do the story times at Worthington Park. Except we're still doing our story times from home. So I'm doing story time from my house. I don't know if you remember, but last week we talked about fun things to do in the summertime. Summer is the season we're in. And we talked about how normally it is on the hot side. Uh, so we get to do fun things like swimming and playing outside. Yeah. Can you think of anything else you like to do in the summer? Yeah. It's fun in the summer. I love getting to be outside a lot. But there's one thing that we need to talk about with summer. And we're going to talk about that today. Because friends, sometimes in the summer... I hear a new word that we consider a bad word at our house. Are you ready? Bored. Do you know what that means? Sometimes my kids will say, I'm bored. And oh no, I do not like to hear I'm bored. Do you know what bored is? Bored is when you feel like you have absolutely nothing you can do. Can you guess why Miss Lisa doesn't like to hear that people are bored? Because there's always something you can do. There's no reason to be bored, ever. No, so at my house, my kids will tell you, if you say, I'm bored, you have to clean. Mm -hmm. That's the rule. But we are gonna talk about being bored today. We're gonna to talk about summer boredom and fun things we can do so that we don't get bored in the summer because sometimes we start to get to the middle of the summer and we kind of start running out of things to do. But did you know that when you are bored, it is fantastic for your brain? Because when you're bored and you have a few minutes where you don't really have any good ideas, you have to start getting creative and you have to start thinking of fun things to do, which is so good for you. So my kids don't ever say I'm bored because they know I'm going to make them clean. But if they go out and they work on it for a little bit, they'll find something to do. And you will too. I promise. So we're going to talk about bored today, but I don't want to hear that you started saying I'm bored at home. Okay. Okay. Now, our first book is one of the silliest books I will ever read you in story time. Are you ready? It's called, I am bored. And it's by Michael Ian Black. And what did I say about saying I'm bored? Don't do it. Don't. Oh, and it's illustrated by Debbie Ridpath Ohi. And it's from Simon & Schuster. Are you ready? I'm bored. Hmm. That looks familiar. Bored. Blah. I'm so bored. Hey, a potato. A potato? What am I supposed to do with a potato? Look, she threw it. Oh, dear. <gasps> Wait a minute. Where'd that potato go? It hit her and she says ow <laughs> oh guess what I know that this is not a real story because guess what's gonna happen the potato says I'm bored do potatoes talk no. you want to do something sure what do you like to do I don't know I like flamingos. There are no flamingos around here. Well, that's disappointing. I'm bored. How can a potato be bored? Because I have to hang out with a kid. Kids are boring. What are you talking about? Kids are fun. Prove it. We can turn cartwheels. Boring. Can you do cartwheels? They're pretty hard. I don't think I can do cartwheels. And skip. Boring. Or spin around in circles until we get so dizzy we almost blow up. Boring. 
kids can play games and do ninja kicks. Boring, boring. And walk on our hands, see? Boring. You know what else? Kids can imagine stuff. What kind of stuff? Like this, see? Now I'm a famous ballerina. See how she's imagining the stuff in the back? Yeah. Imagine it's just when we use our brains to pretend something's there that's not there. Boring. Now I'm a lion tamer with the most ferocious lion in the world. Boring. Oh, yeah? Well, now I'm a fairy princess with my own castle and dragons and unicorns and stuff. Snoring. Kids can swing. Boring. Kids can jump. Boring. Kids can fly. Wait a minute. Can you fly? I, I don't think any of my kids can fly. Kids can do anything. Boring, 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 boring. This is my favorite page. This kid has a costume ready to go for this situation. Are you ready? What's she dressed up as? She's a potato. And guess what he says? Boring. How can you possibly think kids are boring when we can do all this cool stuff and think all these amazing thoughts and be anything we want to be? I'd rather be a kid than a potato any day. <sighs> and then look, she goes away. And what's this mean, do you think? Have you ever seen that? I think that means she's kind of grumbly. Yeah. But, <gasps> what's that? A flamingo. Now we can finally have some fun. I'm bored. The flamingo's bored now. Isn't that silly? I know, talking potato means it's probably not a real story, doesn't it? All right, well, if you are feeling a little bit bored, I have something extremely exciting to show you. Are you ready? <laughs> a potato! Actually, it's a sweet potato uh, because we don't have any potatoes in our house. But we're going to use this potato to learn the game Hot Potato. Do you know the game Hot Potato? You might know it already, but if you don't and you have something at your house that you can play this with, it doesn't have to be a real potato if your parents are anti you playing with root vegetables. You can play with a ball or something else. Um, you can play with really anything small that you can toss pretty easily, okay? So you're going to get a potato or something else that you can toss and someone else to play with. And you will start by tossing the potato back and forth from person to person. So not from like left hand to right hand, but person to person. And you'll sing hot potato, hot potato. Who's got the hot potato? If you have the hot potato, you are it. And that would mean this hand would be out because it was stuck with the hot potato when the music stopped. So you can sing it. It's more fun with more than two people. If you have a couple people you could play with, but you could just toss the potato from person to person or hand the potato from person to person and sing that song. Hot potato, hot potato. Who's got the hot potato? If you have the hot potato, you are it or you are out. There's a lot of versions of it. So that's my potato idea. You can try it at home. Let me know how it goes. Like I said, you can use a ball or pretty much anything else if you don't feel like throwing a potato around your house. All right. I was thinking we could do another story. I love these books, and you have probably seen them with me before if you've come to my story time. But these are by Antoinette Portis, and there's one called Not a Box and one called Not a Stick. We're going to do Not a Box today, I think, but Not a Stick super fun, similar idea. 
and you can probably play with it at your house too. Are you ready? Not a box. And this is by Antoinette Portis, and it's from HarperCollins Publishing. Are you ready? Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. <gasps> Do you remember in the potato book when she was bored and she imagined the color, the lines were in blue? In this one, they imagine lines are what color? They're red. Yeah. And what is he in if it's not a box? The bunny is in a race car going super fast. Hmm. What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. What is it now? Now it's a mountaintop. Boxes are not necessarily the most structurally sound climbing devices. So you might not want to climb on top of a box unless you're grown ups right there and then keep an eye on you. Why are you squirting a box? Hmm. Also, probably not a great idea in the house. Yeah. I said it's not a box. What is it? Oh, what are they pretending? It's a big building that's on fire and a firefighter. Now you're wearing a box? This is a page. My kids do this a lot. Do you ever play this? This is not a box. They like to put laundry baskets over them and be box robots that way. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Well, what is it then? Hmm. That's a thinking bunny. Mm -hmm. It's my not a box. What is it now? Now yeah, it's a rocket ship and it's in space. Oh, look at that on that planet. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking it might be fun to do a little song that you probably know really, really well and do all the time about stars because I saw the stars at the end of that. Are you ready? Can you find some twinkling fingers? Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Good job! Alright, I have one more story I want to do called there's nothing to do. Hmm. And it's by Dev Petty and illustrated by Mike Bolt. And I don't know if you've read I Don't Want to Be a Frog, but it's the same author and illustrator. I don't know what to do today. You can't think of anything? I can think of lots of things, but I don't want to do any of them. Want to go for a swim? Too wet. Play with what? Do you see? Does he have some toys? <laughs> What's Pig doing? Probably something boring. Then clean your room. I just did. Oh no, he stuffed everything under his blanket. I'll go see if my friends have any better ideas. Rabbit, what should we do today? <gasps> Hop around in circles and then <gasps> stare off into space. This is even less fun than it looks. Cat, there's just nothing to do. Well, then you should lick between your toes for a while. Ew. Yeah, if you know a better way to clean between your toes, I'd like to hear about it. Ow, I don't know what to do. Do you have any ideas? Sure, find a nice spot. And sleep until it's dark. And wake up. And that's it. Who wants to spend the whole day sleeping? Pig, I can't find anything to do. Have you tried sniffing around in the dirt? Why would I do that? If you have to ask, I 
can't explain it to you. I know. Let's look at my trusty list. And it says figs, pi, pi, figs, pigs, pi, fantastic list of things to do when he doesn't know what to do, which is a great idea to make a list like this. It says like build model of Eiffel Tower, hum for three hours without stopping once. Wow. Stare at the wall. Uh, pig, I'm not sure this list qualifies as fantastic. What's the matter? The day is almost over and I didn't do anything. Why do you have to do anything? Just be. Watch clouds go by. Think about stuff. Then put do nothing on your to-do list and check it off. Sometimes the best ideas come when you stop looking for them. Really? Let's try it. Take a deep breath. Empty your mind. Oh, it's empty. Be one with the universe. One with the universe. Check. Now what? Wait. Waiting. <gasps> I've got it. I have a great idea. Wonderful. Glad I could help. Sit with me for a minute. So, what did you do all day? Nothing. And you know what? It was great. I came up with the best idea of what to do tomorrow. You have school tomorrow. Oh, I can't go to school. I've got nothing to do. <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? It is a really good idea. Sometimes my kids go outside and they think they have nothing to do. And if I send them out with something to do, they might get bored of that faster, but I found that if they go out and they start to come up with their own good ideas, they're not bored anymore. Yeah, they'll play for a really long time. So friends, when you're feeling a little bit bored, which I don't like to hear, you can always find something to do. You can think amazing things. You can make amazing things. You can play and do fantastic things and you don't need somebody to do something for you all the time you have fantastic things in your brain that are waiting for you to do them and if you can't find anything else to do why don't you lay down in the grass and watch the clouds for a little bit mm -hmm. just like the frog was talking about it's good sometimes to do nothing for a little bit it's good for our brains all right I am proud of you. I hope that you had a fun time. Oh, I was thinking, since we were talking about frogs, why don't we do five green and speckled frogs? How's that sound? All right, ready? Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are... Four green speckled frogs, glob, glob. I'm not sure why that's a frog noise. Are you ready? Let's do it from four. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs, glob, glob. So we have two in the water. One, two, and we have three up on the log. And we still have five all together. All right, ready? Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glob, glob. So we have two up on the log. And how many are in the water? One, two. Good job. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. Blub, blub. Ready? One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs, blah, blah, except where did the frogs go? 
There's still five green speckled frogs, aren't there? They're just in the water. So silly. Okay, you did a wonderful job with that story. I hope that you had a good time with our stories today and that you are feeling a little bit less bored. Now, I was trying to think of some fun things that you can do if maybe you needed some new ideas. So one of the things I wanted to make sure I talked about is that you should make sure you're signed up for summer reading. If you signed up for summer reading on the worthingtonlibraries.org website, you can print out one of these and fill out as you go with fun things that you've done. So. If you read, if you're five and under and you read for 15 minutes or have a grown-up read to you for 15 minutes, you fill in one of these and there's a whole bunch of fun ideas that you can do on our website under SRC. So you can do those fun activities too and keep moving. And guess what? Watching a story time, that counts too. You'll fill in one of these for that. So you fill in all of these all the way down here until you finish your quest. And then once you've finished your quest, you can bring this into the library. Well, not into the library. I think it's outside of the library. But if you bring it to the library and you can pick up a prize for completing your quest. So grownups, we have this for kids all the way through grownups babies too. So if you're reading to a baby, you can count it for them and you can count it for you. So I wanted to make sure I told you about it because this is a great way to keep yourself from feeling bored. Um, I also was thinking that if you have a potato and maybe you've played hot potato with it a little bit and it's starting to get a little bit yucko, you could make your own. Have you ever seen a potato head? You could make your own potato head. You could make pieces to attach to the potato and make a potato head to play with. I'm very curious if you do this. I wanna see some pictures, okay? All right, did you know that the original potato head toy did not come with the potato? It just came with pieces that you stuck into a potato at your house. It's true. All right, so you can make your own potato head. Oh, it's trying to roll off my laptop, okay. You could also take some chalk outside, and I don't know if you've seen any of these really cute ideas, but if you have a little bit of sidewalk and some sidewalk chunk, you can make a dance course or an obstacle course with the chalk. Have your grown-up help you if you want, but you can do like zigzags and you try to follow the zigzags, or you could do curly cues and you have to try to follow that and then jumping places. So you can draw like big lily pads where you want people to jump from lily pad to lily pad. Um, and then you could do one that's similar where you do like write instructions like dancing or jumping, things like that as you go down. And I've seen some really cute ones of grown-ups participating in them as they go on walks. So you should make some for your neighbors. Okay, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about our potato head idea. I also was thinking that how much I love not a box and not a stick because they come up with so many fun ideas for things you can do with stuff you probably have around your house. So I would love to see if you come up with some fun things to do with a box or a stick I'd love to see what you come up with. My kids love to make rocket ships out of boxes. We've had times where we just put in some crayons and one of the littler kids and let them color all inside the box. It's nice because it makes a little bit less of a mess that way. Um, so come up with something fun to do with the box. I'd love to see it. My mom made for my kids a marble run out of a box with some uh, toilet paper rolls too. That was pretty fun. Okay, let's see. I was also thinking that maybe if you're one of my bigger kids that comes to story time, you might like an, um, a database that we have. Sorry, forgot the word there. Uh, called Creative Bug. So if you look at worthingtolibraries.org in the databases, um, I think there's a search databases by A to Z. And if you search and look under C, you'll see one called Creative Bug. And you can learn a new skill that way. So you can watch videos to learn how to do a new thing. Like if you are working on learning to knit, you can watch some videos on knitting. You can watch videos on 
I think there's some on cake decorating, on flowers. There's all sorts of fun things that you can do on there. So you should give that a try too. See if you can learn a new art skill or a new creative skill. All right, friends, there's no excuse to be bored. I hope that you had fun and that this helped give you something to do for a little bit. If you are bored, what am I gonna tell you? Go clean something, yeah. Also, you could do something nice for somebody else. That's always a great way to stop being bored. Mm -hmm. Or you could clean. That'd be really nice for the people who live with you. Yeah. Can you tell I want my kids to clean? Hey, kids, when we're done watching this, go clean. All right. I love you so much. I hope that you're doing really well. Take care of each other. Don't get bored. But if you do, get creative.